Om Shanti, welcome. We are here with 10th of September's Godly Blessing. Now, what does it mean to have all the rights which God can give us? Now, we can have a right to freedom, we can have a right to speech, that's what we see in democracy, right? But here we're going to have the rights which are right to peace, right to happiness, right to joy, right to power, right to being someone who's decisive enough in their own life, someone who's detached from anything which happens in the five elemental world or in the world around you. And that is what it means to be really liberated in life, to be living a liberated life. So would you like to have that right with you in your life? With all the things which are going around you, most of the things which are not in control of you and most of the things which are in control of you, when they are not in control of you and they are not going your way, do you have the right to be peaceful? Are you able to exercise that? And that is what matters and that's what God says here. May you be one with all rights and finish dependency by experiencing your right of belonging, belonging to the Creator. When we see the whole complete drama through the eyes of the Creator, we see that everything is happening for the right reasons. But when we see it through our own eyes of self-centeredness or self-centeredness or selfishness, then we believe that everything which is happening around us is not going as per our wish and then we try to control it, we try to manipulate it and that's where our karmas go in the wrong direction. So through whose eyes should we see it? Exactly. To make the father belong to you means to experience your right. The creator is the father of the souls belong to you means to experience your right. Where you have a right, there is no dependency on yourself or on relationships and connections. For what? For peace, for love, for joy, for happiness, for being, feeling powerful, for feeling blessed, for feeling content. We don't depend upon either relations or any kind of connections. You have no dependency on matter or adverse situations. Even on the five elements, we are not dependent upon them to make, to make us happier, to make us joyful. Like five elements is not just the five elements in pure sense. Yes, you can have five elements in pure sense also, but not just them. Like some people depend upon rain to be happy, some people depend upon the winter season to be happy, some people depend upon the uh, summer season to be happy. But here we are talking about five elemental things also. You gather things, you gather gadgets and you become happy. No, we are not dependent upon that also. Or adverse situations which come through them. When all these types of dependency finish, you then become one with all rights. All rights for what? All rights on all the rights of God's powers. That means we have peace, we have power, we have love, we have joy, we have happiness, we have knowledge, we have wisdom. And those are the rights which we get through the Creator Himself. But for that, the dependencies have to be reduced. So those who know the Father and have made Him belong to them, how do you make Him belong to them? Is through your complete devotion towards Him. Now, devotion doesn't mean that you... Uh, take up some form of uh, rituals, you take up some form of uh, pilgrimages so as to please the Creator. No. To make Him yours, to make Him belong to you is a very different way of seeing things. It comes into relationship of us souls with Him. And what kind of relationship are we maintaining with Him is what it means to belong to Him. Now, relationships cannot be bought. Relationships cannot be pleased by gifts. That's what we do in a lot of things in devotion. We try to please the Creator, the Lord, by giving gifts, by giving fruits, by giving sweets, by putting, by donating money, by going on pilgrimages, by burning essences. And the God says, I don't need all these things because those things belong to me itself, right? Because I am the Creator, I am the, I am, I am the uh, Lord of all the three worlds. So things from my own world, if you present it to me, it doesn't mean anything, right? So that's why God says to belong to Him is a very different way of thinking. It's a very different paradigm. It's a very different relationship. So God says and have made Him belong to them by knowing Him are great and have all rights. Those who know the Father and have made Him belong to them by knowing Him. Do we know the Creator? Some people write in all the scriptures and it's mostly written and mostly read in all the scriptures that you cannot know his end. Well, can you know my end? That means, do you know everything which is going on in my mind? No. So similarly, I'm a soul. God is also a soul. You cannot know my end, so you cannot know his end also. 
but what it means is that that god has the infinite knowledge of the creation he can see things through clearly whereas our greed our jealousy our lust doesn't make us or help us to see things the way they are we want to see the things the way we want to see them but god has that clarity that's why he there is no end to his clarity we can say that there's no end to his love there's no end to his peace there's no end to his joy there's no end to his wisdom there's no end to his knowledge but he is endless and you cannot fathom him that is something which is way beyond it's like a child small child who is around just 4 years or 5 years old saying it's very difficult to know my father obviously because you have not stepped into his shoes you don't know what he's gone through in his life when you grow up when you sit with him when you see him in his life the way he does things then you'll be like okay now i understand him right so similarly over here also knowing him those souls who know him are great and have all rights over his qualities his powers and that's what we learn in brahma kumari is we get to know the creator we get to know his form we get to know his name we get to know what is he do we get to know his creation we get to know the wisdom we know the secret of the complete world wouldn't you like to learn these things if so then you most welcome to brahma kumari center and take on the seven day course one hour a day i'm shanti with this